In this movie, I'll be talking about how to add Modernizer to your web page. Now, the first thing we actually have to do is download Modernizer. When I'm doing development, before I deploy my website to a web server, I use the development version. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be working with adding modernizer.html. That'll be in your working files folder. You'll also find that Modernizer has already been downloaded to that folder. If you choose, you can go to modernizer.com, open up the latest version of Modernizer. Once you have it open, you can press File Save and save it to the Working Files folder. Then you'll be working with an even more up-to-date version than the most recent version as of the recording of this movie, which is 2.7.1. Generally, more modern versions will have more up-to-date testing and additional tests. Now I have adding modernizer.html opened up here in the web browser. I also have it opened up in Sublime Text 2, which is my text editor of choice. Of course, you can change this code in any text editor you choose. Now all I have to do to add Modernizer to my website is to add it inside of a script tag. Now it's important to keep in mind that the reason I can simply type the name of the file here is because this file is in the same folder as the adding modernizer.html file. So this here is a relative link. If you were in a more realistic environment, Modernizer would probably be inside of a library folder, something like document root js slash lib slash modernizer latest or something like that. But for this simple example, Modernizer is in the same directory as our file. Now I'm going to go over here and refresh, but before I do, I'm going to open up the web inspector. You'll notice that the HTML element doesn't have any additional classes added. If I refresh, Modernizer adds all of these classes to the HTML element. Also, if you go into the console, you'll find the Modernizer object exists. That's how we know that Modernizer has successfully loaded. Now, if I go back to modernizer.com, in the documentation, when I click on installing Modernizer, it goes over a couple tips. A lot of developers consider it best practice to put your script tags at the very end of the document. That's not the case with Modernizer. Here's the reason. If the script tag loads after the content, you're going to see the unstyled content for a brief moment. Then once Modernizer runs, all of the content will snap into its rightful place. There's another movie where we talk about other Modernizer features, specifically for older browsers. And if we don't put Modernizer up at the top, we don't get those features either. So that does it for this movie. It really is as simple as adding a single script tag to your document. And that's all you have to do to install the latest development version of Modernizer.